Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. First and foremost, I want to thank everybody who watched my previous video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe now. We're about to hop into some why you shouldn't negotiate a contract before watching this video. Now, I'm going to go ahead and send a couple counter offers to two people, Foot Locker and Gatorade. Now, the reason why I tell you guys not to go in not knowing what to expect is because I have been the guinea pig. I'm a person that goes in and says, okay, well, if I go ahead and counter offer and I accept the contract and you say, thank you, you're a part of our uh, conglomerate or they decline me, then I dashboard immediately. If they say, okay, well, you're in. I'll say to myself, could I have gotten more money? Could I have gotten a better discount? Could I have gotten something a little bit more within this contract? Now, negotiating contracts is something new in 2K. And I know a lot of people will not understand what you're getting and what they're offering because you won't know that with this amount of VC that you guys can earn is something that is probably more if you use incentives and stuff like that. So this one is with Foot Locker, right? Now, I probably did this maybe eight or nine times. I went through, tried out different uh, money VC. I tried different incentives. I even tried taking away my store discount. Now, I know a lot of people are probably like, bro, why would you take away your store discount? Like, who wouldn't want to go into the store and get a discount on buying shoes in the game? Well, to be honest with you, if I can tip the scale and make more VC, that discount won't even show. It won't even be there. It won't even matter if I didn't have a discount. And the reason that I say that, they want a 10% discount. And I'm telling you guys now, they're not giving you a crazy discount afterwards. If you guys look and it says 10% store discount, that bar is more than one fourth filled. So if they given out a maximum, they're probably giving you a maximum of 30% for the discount. I'm cool on the discount. You want to know why? Because I want to make the VC. That's what it's about for me. It's about making VC. Now, right here, they didn't want to give me what I wanted. And they still wanted me to give that 10 store discount. And oh, just to show you guys, 25% discount. Who wants that? Nobody. So I'll say to them, you know what? I'm not worried about that. I'd rather take the VC and I don't care about the store discount. Now, this offer says that it looks good to them, which is pretty good. And of course, it is that good because I fought for that. They were trying to give me 1,350 VC. I am cool on that. I got 500 more VC out of them. And I don't care about the discount because I won't be purchasing any other sneakers for quite a while. And most likely, I won't be purchasing any other sneakers until the next time I re-up my contract. Now, the reason why I chose 30-point games for 50 VC is because... In my career, if you're badge grinding and stuff like that, you will get a high amount of points. So 30 is not a stretch for me, but there will be times where I might want to fix my average. So say, for instance, for the first five games, I will get 40 points. After the first five games and I play five games without any assists, the next five games will go to all assists. So maybe in those games, I'll try to get 15 to 20 assists. You know what I mean? Yeah, you good? All right, which one of you is a player? He is. Uh, good, good, good. And then who are you? I'm the Kyle. I'm the Kyle. Interesting. Two names. I like that. I'm sorry, who are you again? Uh, Dr. Jacob Rubin, head physiologist. I know you were probably expecting some slick marketing exec who actually knows the game and tells you you're going to be like me, but I come first. So, I'm told you went undrafted, is that right? Uh, yes, sir. I mean, I was supposed to go out to college. But yeah, NBA teams, they draft players based on potential, which means they obviously didn't see enough of you. Well, didn't see enough? I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Some players, it's simple. Some players, some athletes are simply blessed with impeccable plumbing. LeBron, Giannis, Westbrook. I mean, even this guy, right? Sure, he reeks of Happy Meals, but I'm guessing, what, 3% body fat, right? <laughs> Could I, Doc? <laughs> yeah, you wish, bro. Here's the thing. You are in the Kyle. In fact, you aren't any of the guys that I just mentioned, and you never will be, and that is simple genetics. Which is why every step, every breath, every rep has to be accounted for. And that's where I come in. Look, compared to the average man, every player in the NBA is an exceptional athlete. What I offer, what Gatorade offers, is the opportunity for you to maximize your potential, unlock those attributes that can't be quantified by a scout stopwatch. Look, we're talking about the difference between Steve Nash's career and Dimple Levy's. Oh, <laughs> exactly. Ah, that's all I got time for, kid. Look, I may not be a fan, but if you're here, that means some very smart people think you've got the ingredients.
I mean, hey, facts is facts. We, we, we all right. Man, you better check your boy, bro. Yeah, I know, man. I know, I know. It's all right. All right, sorry for getting cut off right there, guys. I just wanted to show you a quick cutscene. But if you guys do understand what I'm saying, I don't want to be one of those people that worry about points only. So most likely when I get another incentive, I will add something brand new to that. Now, here we are with Gatorade. A lot of people chose Gatorade first over for like I heard through the grapevine. And the reason why, you know, a lot of people chose Gatorade is because of the boost, the, the energy drinks and, you know, the snack bars and stuff like that. One thing that I can tell you guys, the next time that it's time for you to re-up your contract, if you have already signed a contract, is to hold out. Make sure you quit, make sure you close app, and make sure you remember the numbers of what the agreed upon terms were. Now, I wanted to use this footage to make some pretty dope videos. If anybody watched my uh, signing a max contract video, you know, I did a, a, a voiceover thing and everything like that. But I actually wanted to use this footage to be more informative. Now, Gatorade is offering me 790 VC with only one incentive and 18 Gatorade fuel boosts. Now, everybody knows if you sign with Gatorade, you're definitely not in it for the money. As far as Foot Locker goes, you can be in it for the money. But Gatorade, you're in it for the boost. So when you're signing a deal with Gatorade, don't worry about the VC. Don't worry about the money. Worry about those fuel boosts. Because I'm telling you guys right now, if you worry about the boost, the boost will help you on a daily run of you playing online and offline. Now, I know what a lot of people is thinking. Bro, they're giving you 920 VC per event and you're getting 30 Gatorade fuel boosts. No, you have to remember, you're only getting that per event, not per game. You're getting that per every time they call you up and say, hey, come out to an event. But the incentives is what gives you daily VC per match. So having that incentive is very big. That's what you need. Now, they keep taking the incentive away. So what I'm doing is I'm just changing the numbers, checking that little sweet spot and 850 VC is really a good offer. They gave me 900 with 18 boosts. I told them, no, I don't want that. I think I'll go for that 850 and they went in agreement. So now I'm getting 850 VC per event. Plus I'm getting an incentive on top of that per game and I'm getting 30 boosts per day. That's really, really big, man. 30 boosts per contract is really, really good. And the reason that I say that is because you can do a lot here. Like they're not stingy with the VC like Foot Locker is. You can get 100 VC just for completing something in this game. Now you guys notice they have player of the game. Player of the game while you're grinding badges is not hard to get. So you can get 100 extra VC every game you play on top of that. That is so dope, man. Think about that, man. Think about it, 100 VC per game, you know what I'm saying, 82 games per year, and think about it, this is only a level one contract, so you're of course going to upgrade your player to get more VC per game, but you want to stick it to them with the Gatorade boost. Make sure when you're bidding for Foot Locker, it's all about the VC. If you're bidding with Gatorade, it's all about the, the boost, okay? Now, I just wanted to add a little bit of gameplay on the end to show you guys my progression so far. So far, man, the badges are coming out pretty well. Now, of course, I haven't been grinding like a lot of people have been. I've seen a lot of 91 overalls, 92 overalls, 93 overalls, and I commend a lot of those guys. But I'm playing a bunch of different games except 2K. You know what I'm saying? 2K isn't the only game that I'm playing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to make too many excuses, but... Trust me, I'm going to get there. But I also wanted to let you guys know that my custom jump shot is crazy. I mean, I could say that this is the ultimate jump shot. You you get a lot of greens. You make a lot of shots. Now, just to let y'all know, I am a slashing shot creator. I am not a sharp, you know, at all. But I do hit my shots. But um, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope I gave you guys enough advice to make a good decision when asking about contracts now as more endorsements come to me i will be making videos on those endorsements showing you guys that you can get the best bang for your buck or get the best bang for your boost you know what i'm saying but i'm about to get up out of here man i hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video and i'll see you guys in the next one make sure if you aren't subscribed make sure you subscribe today turn on the notifications and like the video and drop a comment hey you can even dislike the video if this didn't help you go ahead and leave it a dislike it, it won't hurt me i think I'll see you guys in the next video, man. Peace.
All right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoy this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes. And this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.